Hello everybody, my name is Will Carmack. I have a nice blue cup that matches my shirt and I'm excited to share with you today some new After Effects knowledge. Nail that intro. So, um, I wanna give you guys a beginner tutorial on Oh, by the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace, just before we jump into it. So, um, I wanna give you guys a beginner tutorial on post-production camera movement. For example, here is a job I did recently for a credit card company. And you see, I use a credit card to chop down the tree. There's an impact when the card hits the tree. I'm not moving every individual layer to achieve this movement, but one adjustment that affects all of them. And so the tip I'm going to share with you is general movement. What's the fastest way we can move a bunch of items at once to achieve an impact? Or if I'm walking away from the camera, the camera is zooming backwards. There's a super, super easy way to do all of this. And I'm gonna share it with you. It's called nulls. Let's begin. <clears throat> so here's the project in my After Effects. You can see me hit the card, run away, slice the tree open. Beautiful. Oh, sorry guys, my AirPods were in, that's so rude. So if we watch this back, you'll see that when the card goes through the tree, literally nothing happens. As in like the camera doesn't move and we just have this dust and everything flying out, but it would be more impactful if I added some more camera movement. And I don't wanna have to individually adjust every layer because you can see I have a ton of clips in the layers panel here. So we'll come up to layer, new, and this is important, null object. Let's create this red guy and I'll rename him to movement. Here's the important part with nulls is they act as controllers. So if I um, scaled it up and down right now, even though you're seeing this red thing moving up, moving up and down, words, um, we're actually not affecting anything. What a null is, is a controller. So we have to attach something to the null for that scale to actually work. For example, I'm gonna hit Control A, I'll deselect the null, and here's the important, here's the lasso tool, that the, the crux of it all. Sorry, these words aren't making sense, but this, this whip, the swirl, remember it. If you click and drag a layer's swirl onto a null object, now if we change the scale, you'll see that it literally affects everything, even my palm tree. Because my palm tree is actually bigger than the entire composition, that's why uh, it can fall down like this. So here's what the interesting thing about nulls is it actually affects every layer um, without affecting the layer. So if I delete this null, and so even though everything's attached to this null, if I delete it, bam, it doesn't affect any of my layers. And so bam, I'll get into the meat of it. This should be a super easy tutorial. But essentially, since uh, every single layer is linked to this null, and we can scale it, we can move it. This gives us the opportunity to create movement every time we want movement. Because we can add position keyframes to the null instead of the actual objects it's affecting. So, how I always use the null object is maybe right here when I see that my tree animation is about to cut. I'll create a position and a scale keyframe on my null, and I'll go over a frame, maybe type in 104, go over a frame, and then change the position just a little. Go over a frame, change the position, go over a frame, change the position. And if you just do this a few times, like over time you're making these keyframes where you're zooming in and out of a short moment, and I'll make my keyframes actually go back to the original, so during this movement, it eventually goes back. And so if we watch that back, you can see when I slice the tree open, there's a bunch of uh, visual distortion, which helps sell the fact that we're cutting a tree open. Because anytime you can add some visible impact to like an actual visual effect, it just makes it feel more realistic. So I'm not keyframing any of the individual layers, but just the null. And what's great is I can <clears throat> go back to the beginning of my composition before the null these keyframes affect anything and I can delete it And you can see that where that movement occurred nothing changes when I delete the null because the animation and the keyframes is literally only on the null object. And another great way to use nulls is just slowly zooming in on everything. So in the beginning here, um, there's a, a part where I run away from the front of the camera. And since this is probably the most boring part of the scene because I'm running away, I can create some engaging movement with my null object. So I can click on the null object the moment I want to start zooming in a little. 
I'll click a keyframe for scale, maybe go over until I stop running. I'll change it to 115. And so now my null object, when I run away, scales up all the layers in my project. So we can use null objects to emphasize impacts or emphasize moments where you could zoom in. Maybe you need to build anticipation. You can make every low layer slowly get bigger with these null objects. And bam, that's it. That is the tutorial on how to use a null object. Stop the screen recording now. Bam. <clears throat> Essentially, we use null objects so we don't have to animate individual layers because having keyframes everywhere in your project can get frustrating. And so when you use a null object, it lets you use and control position keyframes all from one layer, which is a big win. Oh wait, almost forgot to thank Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace and guys, let me tell you about them. First of all, they've got new members only content features so you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can manage your members, send email communications and leverage your audience insights all on one easy to use platform. And next is uh, portfolios and galleries. This feature in Squarespace lets artists showcase their work to the world in a professional and sleek manner. So you can actually use the templates that Squarespace has already provided to make your work look even more professional. If you're a creative, get a website <laughs> it's, and, and, get, and use it square with words. And to all my artists out there, you can sell your art online with Squarespace. The Squarespace commerce platform supports the way you do business. So you work directly online with customizable e-commerce templates or bill for your design services. Make your art accessible with Squarespace, guys. And you can get 10% off your first website or domain with squarespace.com slash Carmack or the top link in the description below. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Thanks for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. Oh, oh gosh.